A moment ago, we told you the story of Marin Morris making the leap from writing songs for country music stars to becoming one herself. But just getting a song recorded, let alone having a hit on the radio, is a long shot for most of the young musicians who make the pilgrimage to Nashville with the proverbial guitar and a dream. So now there is a community of songwriters working together in the hopes of making it big in Music City. NBC's Kathy Park has our Sunday Spotlight from Nashville. Pull a group of Nashville bass artists together under one roof. Give them a track, a theme, and 30 minutes to write a hook. A beautiful collaboration that hits all the right notes. Some taking off with millions of streams on Spotify. We've become an accidental label. We've become an artist development team. And it's, it's creating waves here in Nashville. Tyler Ward is one of the creators of Songhouse, a community of songwriters producing music in minutes. We get to test and see what connects, and it works. Mama told me I should marry me a rich man. There are hooks harnessing the power of social media to foster the talent of up-and-comers in the highly competitive industry. Whatever goes viral, we take that song and we finish it within a day, and we get it out to everybody within like a five-day process, including a full music video. Okay, be a square in a Half of the royalties go directly to the artists, like singer-songwriter Kendall Inskeep. What would you say was like the biggest breakthrough moment for you as an artist? Standing in this in this room right here and um, recording on it. But if I'm being honest, I'm not being honest. The song soared with 13 million plays on Instagram, 5 million views on TikTok, and 7 million streams on Spotify. But beyond the numbers, the supportive culture keeps songwriters coming back for more, with applications pouring in from all across the country. We're a bunch of like misfit toys that come into one setting and just spill our guts and hope that people resonate with it. Here in this small Nashville loft Songhouse calls home, the talent is limitless. Oh, I am limitless. And so is age. I'm, I'm limitless. I wasn't built for this. In a room full of mostly Gen Zers and Millennials, Dennis Cook, a former pastor in his 60s, doesn't miss a beat. What a tragedy be for me to die with a pocket full of songs. They helped me. I couldn't do this without them. They could do it without me. I couldn't do it without them. In a house built on music. He will try to make me smaller. And friendship. That was amazing. That was, you're good. Songhouse gives independent artists a stage and a dream to share. So what's the end game for Songhouse? End game is just to disrupt. It's the process of making music and seeing artists who never had a shot finally get a chance to do it. And that to me is like, this is the end game. For Sunday Today, Kathy Park, NBC News, Nashville. Get loud, get loud, get loud. Remember some of those names and faces. Kathy, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.